all the academics, I think they were afraid uh, to bring it out because they were afraid of damaging his, his reputation because the rest of his prose is so superb. But he's a human being and uh, poetry is pure emotion. And so my thought was to try and show his reading public the emotional side of mm. him. You have a whole span of a life in a very small collection of work. So to see from the age of 11 through to... 40, 46. Literally days before he died. Mm. And to get the chance to, to, to cover that body of work, brief though it may be, is, is so interesting and, and enlightening and seeing from, from, from a child homaging Kipling and various other things and finding his own voice. Obviously a man of deep despair mm. as well. Mm. Um, uh, and has been yeah, challenging and, 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 and fun. Mm. He's turned good, bad and ugly into blissful, all of it. And emotional, romantic, gloomy, dying, everything. He's created uh, that extra layer, which is what poetry is all about and should be heard. You close your eyes and you listen and you create what they are talking about in your head. And that's the best way of seeing anything. Poetry should be listened to. Yes. Absolutely. It doesn't matter who it is. It's there to be listened to. Mm -hmm.